Right. Jesus. God never makes you fulfill your purpose. He gives you a time frame to come into your purpose. When he see that rebellion has set up in your spirit and you refuse to move into your purpose, he replaces you. Saul, I can't use you no more. Jesus. I found myself a man. Ain't no use for you getting an attitude. Ain't no use for you getting upset when other folk come in and move past you because you got stuck in a place because of discouragement, because of di disappointment. Can I talk about disappointment? Yeah. Disappointments are your personal list of failures. Woo. Nobody beats you up the way you do. <laughs> Nobody holds you back the way you do. And the things you did not accomplish and, and the things you did not obtain in life. So what you didn't get the car? So what you didn't get the house? That don't mean you ain't going to get it. Why are you going to sit there and get discouraged because of a few disappointments? Find another route. If you can't go that way, change the route you're going. Oh, I feel God. And I'm being so stern tonight because we can't miss this season. That's where I'm trying to go. That's where I'm trying to go. That's where I'm trying to go. I've watched you 17 years. I've been doing this thing. 14 are uh, going on 15 with many of you. And I've watched you miss season after season after season. And it's making me sick. Come on now. Because I can see who you ought to be. But you accepted who you already are. And it's grieving me. I don't know what to do. I done prayed and prayed and prayed. My and God. now my prayers change. God, use somebody who will say I'm available. Oh, God. Oh, we shouldn't have to wrestle with you concerning your destiny. You ought to throw your hands up and say whatever you want to do, God. Here am I. Send me. I'll go. I'll go to the nation. I'll go to the next level, the next dimension. Whatever. Hey. You saved me for this. Come on. Come on. Jesus. We're so selfish and self-centered and we're always focused on ourselves. Come on. On our stuff. Us, us, us. I've given my whole life not to not to me, Audrey, Jamel, Nanny, Tori, Michael. I've given my life to the people of God. I spend more time in churches over this country than I do in my own home. You ain't got to say man. I know what I'm talking about. I spend more time praying, laying hands. I have phone uh, commitments. I have, uh, at night I'm counseling preachers. 11 and 12, they call me 1 o'clock at night. And I'm about to lose my mind. I'm going through nothing is working. And I got to, I got to convince that person who is called by God to hold on because change I can already see in the spirit and change is hovering slowly their way and the devil is trying to wear them out in the realm of their mind he's trying to weigh them down telling them that it's always going to be like this Ooh, glorious, glorious, glorious. Come on. the problem I have is, is, is this, this is, the bible said that this for 30 and 8 years this man had this infirmity now usually when the scripture uses the word infirmity it, 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 it points out that it's an unclean spirit that weakens us that makes us weak it takes away from our strength that's what the spirit of infirmity means it means the area of your weakness that's why the bible says in Romans chapter number 8 that the Holy Spirit will help us in the areas of our infirmity in our weakness and this particular man had a weakness going on in his leg. Many people, watch this here, many people, uh, uh, they misdiagnosed this scripture. The man was not crippled, but what his problem was is, is that he had a problem going from his brain, uh, going down his spinal cord to his legs. Uh, every once in a while, it would lose the signal and his legs would go out before him because he said when I'm coming, uh, y'all don't hear me, he said when I'm coming, it's something well, he could be walking and then all of a sudden his legs go out because a spirit Come on, was assigned to him. My God. And, and, and she, at many years I taught this, he wasn't supposed to get in the water because what, 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 what the water was for was for anybody who had a disease. Yes, yes, uh oh. Jesus. Oh, it wasn't for anybody who had a spirit. Come on. Uh oh. Y'all didn't, didn't read it. For whatsoever disease they had, they would be made whole of it. Come on now. He had a spirit that was causing this problem. Y'all don't want me to preach like this. See, see, sometimes.
times what you call a disease is not a disease at all. It's a spirit. And that's why some of us are praying for them to be healed. And they die anyway because it's not a disease. It's a spirit. And some of them spirits can only go out by fasting and praying. So some, some of them, you got to break your prayer. See, when death is trying to take one of your family members, you can't do no ordinary prayer there. You got to break your dog on plate there. You got to get away from everybody. You got to go into warfare in the spirit and say, no, spirit, you will not move them. Now what happens, what happens? Maybe I can translate this. Maybe I can, can translate this. Maybe I can translate this. See, the fourth dimension governs the third dimension, which is the earthly realm. You, you see it much in the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, it's pointed out. The, the, the spirit realm or the, anything that comes from the spirit realm. Uh, 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 watch this here. There's an evil side of the fourth dimension and then there's a, there's a holy side or a God side. Now in the book of Genesis, we see the Holy Spirit hovering over. Jesus mentions it in the book of Corinthians. He, he said, uh, watch this here. He that comes down from above is above all. So anything that's going on in the earthly realm, and if, if, if anything comes down out of the spirit realm, it has governing authority. Mm. It has governing authority over anything in the earthly realm. Y'all don't want me to preach now. Now, John chapter number one say that, that, that watch this here, that, that Jesus gave us power to become the sons of God or the children of God. All that, watch this here, all that believed on him and even those that believed on his name, they were were not born of uh, of uh, of man. No, -uh. they were born of God. Come on. That's why he said in John chapter number three, very, very, I say unto you, you must be born again. Not, not born from belief. You already got that down there. But you got to be born from above. Because once you get really born from above, now you are above anything that's beneath. Y'all ain't got it yet. But I'll preach anyhow. So Jesus did not come from beneath. He came from above. The first man, Adam, uh, he came from the earth. Right? Is that not right? He came from the earth. But, 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 but watch this. The last Adam, he came from above. He was a life-giving uh oh y'all missed that. He was a life-giving spirit. The only reason he came is to give life because the death sinners have been placed on us. So the wages of sin is but the gift of God is eternal life. For God so loved the world he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting or eternal Life. I'm, I'm, y'all don't want me to work hard tonight. I know y'all don't. But I want you to understand something. God set up a season Come on. in the earth. Uh -huh. He set up a season in the earth when the fourth dimension would visit the third dimension. <laughs> God help me. In the form of an angel. And anybody that got in the water at that time. They were healed because the dimension that the angel came from had power to change any circumstance in the dimension called the third dimension. Y'all don't want me to preach now. I, I, I feel pretty doggone good right about here. Now, and I know you got to go home and study. You got to go home and really study our dimensions. And that's why the church is failing. That's why the church is really not moving in the power of God. Because you got to realize, first of all, you got to go up to, uh oh, that's why you're seated in heavenly places. That's why he said, don't oh, focus on the things that are beneath or central. Focus on those things that are above because you got to realize your citizenship is here but you also got one. Oh God, I feel good. You also got one up there. But but that citizenship up there outranks this one because you're seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus up there. So now everything that Jesus has, watch this here, you also are co-inheritor. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. So, so what you have to do is you have to come up out your flesh. Come on now. Mm -hmm. And you have to go up into the fourth dimension of the spirit realm. And when you come back out of the spirit realm, 
you are not only, watch this here, you are not only going to come back down, but you're going to come back down with power to change the circumstance in this realm. Y'all don't hear me now. That's why Jesus had to take upon the form of a man. He humbled himself and became obedient even to death. Even the death of the, y'all don't hear me. The death in, in the Bible says, so please God that he exalted him. He, the name of Jesus, he exalted him above every name in heaven and every name on the earth and at the name of Jesus. Every knee got a bow and every tongue got to confess that Jesus is Lord. He's Lord over everything, but he's not Lord over anything.